Chris Hipkins is so confident he'll be able to cut GST off fruit and veggies by next April, he's staking his job on it. But it comes after News Hub obtained advice that it won't bring down the prices. Political reporter Amelia Wade was with the Labour leader in the Hawke's Bay. What in the whaties do we have here? Why, it's a chippy packing chopped veggies. Checking out how the magic happens, how veggies go from flying naked along a conveyor belt to supermarket freezer aisles for Kiwis to chuck in their stir fries. And he's confident that no matter the niggle, he'll be able to make good on his promise to make these frozen veggies GST free by April 1st. Are you willing to stake your job on the fact that it will be in place by April 1st? Yep, we will make it happen. It's a high stakes, high cost policy. Taking GST off fruit and vegetables is the biggest promise Labour has made, costing $2 billion. And it's got a thumbs up from these bodies workers. Oh, no, I love the idea. Yeah, 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 no, good idea. Yeah, no, it'll help a lot, families and that, yeah. But would it actually drive prices down? An official health briefing obtained by News Hub under the Official Information Act says because of how our tax system is structured, taking GST off fruit and vegetables would not result in a direct decrease in price. So perhaps it's wise then that Hipkins isn't making the same vow to resign if prices aren't cut. If prices don't go down, you'll quit? Uh we will be monitoring to make sure the savings are passed on. It's just a bad policy, right? I mean, to get, as I keep saying, a couple of cents off some beans and carrots, uh, that's not going to get passed through to the consumer. Labor made another big promise today too, a new billion dollar hospital for Hawke's Bay. We are delivering the largest hospital upgrade program um, in, in living memory. One of the last hospitals Labor promised was in Dunedin, which has been plagued by delays and budget blowouts. This is a government that cannot deliver a pizza. I mean, honestly, they're that hopeless. I'd say the National Party's track record speaks for itself. They spent nine years in government and they ran down the health system. The parties playing track records off against each other. One track record which isn't up for dispute, though. Hipkins hankering for sausage rolls. And now he has his own bottle of what he's finest to go with it. I think that could be a permanent rebranding. <laughs> Straight from the source. All right, Amelia joins us now from Danny Burke. Amelia, how worried is Labor about losing some of those horse base seats? Well, the word I was given to describe Labor's fortunes is challenging and so that is why Chris Hipkins is on his road trip this week from the Gisborne around the east coast to Napier and then down here through the Wairarapa to give these seats some attention and support which is also helped by him having that six billion dollar cyclone resilience fund up his sleeve so he can uh, dole out a couple of million here and there on projects as he goes but quietly Labour knows that when there is such a mood for change in the air seats like Napier and Tuki Tuki could flip but they are more quietly confident about Wairarapa. It is currently held by Kieran McAnulty, who's a rising star in the Labour Party, and they're hoping that his own personal popularity will outstrip that of the parties. But they are not taking anything for granted. Expect another big day on the road through Wairarapa tomorrow with another cost-of-living policy announcement to boot. A big day. Amelia, thanks so much.